I'm Sam Cranny Evans reporting for Jane's at the 2020 International Armoured Vehicles Conference. I'm speaking to Martin Fawcett from Elbit Systems UK about the Street Fighter program for Challenger 2 and the Iron Fist Light Active Protection System. Martin, thank you so much for your time. Could you tell us a little bit about the Iron Vision trials that were conducted with Challenger 2 Street Fighter earlier last night? We were very pleased to be able to participate in these trials, which took place uh, a couple of months ago on Salisbury Plain. Um, we were able to install our Iron Vision system onto the Challenger tank that they use for such trials and demonstrate it to quite a large audience of users and uh, experts from the Armoured Trials and Development Unit and the, the rest of the uh, Armoured Corps. So we were able to show the capability of the system, we were able to show an installation of it which was relatively quick and I think people's understanding of the potential of the system was increased significantly as a result of that, uh, that day. It sounds very exciting and do you see a, a large market for this kind of see-through armour situational awareness systems? Yes, I mean Elbit's strategy is to leverage the technology we have from one application to another. So the um, origin of this technology is the Joint Strike Fighter, the F-35 and the um, techniques and the technology has been put on a combat vehicle. We've also put it in a commercial aircraft so it's flying in uh, uh, adverse weather on passenger aircraft and we've even spun off a, a low technology version of it for cyclists so you can have a, a visor with lots of information about uh, your sat nav and uh, your heart rate projected onto the same. Uh, same That's thing. very interesting and do you have to do anything specific to make these systems soldier proof because it's, they're quite advanced right and soldiers aren't always the most careful yeah. with their equipment? Yeah no I think it's, it's very similar to other systems now uh, they're very robust in terms of the sensors you put on the outside of the vehicle clearly and uh, they're displayed through uh, ruggedized screens and visor systems on the inside of the turret so that's, that's addressed. Excellent. I look forward to seeing how that develops, especially with the UK's requirements being what they are. And then the, the Iron Fist Active Protection System. So the, the presentation that was at the conference, the, the representative discussed how it can engage kinetic energy rounds, which is something that not many active protection systems can do. Can you tell us as much as you can about that capability and what it took to develop it? Yes. Well, I, I mean, these systems never stand still. So uh, threats evolve and so do we and therefore we've um, invested a huge amount of time, effort and money in making sure that the systems that we're offering here have a roadmap for future enhancement and clearly that area is really important. Uh, so we've been able to do some trials, you saw the video of, of the outcome of those trials which have been very successful and it will be a roadmap for the future development of the Iron Fist system that uh, is available now. Okay, that's brilliant. Thank you so much for your time Martin, I really appreciate it. Thank you.